Uh-oh. Guess what day it is. Guess what day it is. Huh? Anybody? Hey, guess what day it is. Uh, uh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 Mike. Ha, ha, ha. Leslie, guess what today is. It's hump day. Woohoo! I'm gonna buy my yearbook. I'm going to Mrs. Grundy's. I'm gonna buy my yearbook. Hump day, yeah! The President's Club will meet Friday, November 7th during period one in the boardroom across from the Lincoln statue. And Human Relations Club will have a quick meeting this Friday after school in room 337 to discuss future service opportunities as well as Saturday's field trip. Forms and money are due Friday and could be found outside of rooms 401 or 337. Members are also reminded to turn in their decorated Veterans Day card by Wednesday. And Ms. Bowers would like to remind UNICEF volunteers to please turn in your trick-or-treat boxes and money to room 257 ASAP. Bring your community service form with you. Students, be reminded November 6th is an SIP day, scheduled A, following periods 1, 4, 3, and 2. We will also have scheduled class assemblies. Period 4, Panoramic Picture Assembly for Seniors in the North Gym. Period 3, Cap and Gown Assembly for Seniors in the Auditorium. Period 2, Class Ring Assembly for Sophomores in the Auditorium. All sophomore and senior students should report to class for attendance and will be released via PA announcement. Staff that have all sophomores during period 2 or all seniors during period 3s or 4 should accompany your students to the gym or auditorium and assist with supervision. Teachers that have mixed classes should send sophomores or seniors at their designated times. Students and staff are reminded that they may call the After Hours Technology Phone Support for assistance with netbook computers or associated GTHS technology. After Hours Technology Support is available during the school year, Monday through Thursday from 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Support is also available on Sundays from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Ms. Johnson with the hookup of Black Women is looking for high school students to help provide academic enrichment for students in grades K-8 through in the JAMS Growth Education and Motivation for Students at 2nd Baptist Tower Building at 153 South Ottawa. The program runs Monday through Thursday from 2.30 to 6 p.m. Please call her at 815-726-3731 or contact her at gems.program at yahoo.com. Students can earn community service hours. Attention all students, this Thursday we will have a Friends of Rachel Club meeting during period one in room 176. We hope to see you there helping us plan on how we will be continuing Rachel's five challenges for us. We also have our birthday party at daybreak after school until 6 p.m. this Thursday. Come join us and help us celebrate November birthdays and earn community service hours. Come to the library during your advisory for Innovate. New programs will be offered during advisory periods to get your creative juices flowing. Starting this Wednesday, November 5th, we will be learning how to use the Webcom drawing tablets. Sign in today or come during your advisory time and sign in. Watch the announcements for more programs to come or stop in the library for more details. Congratulations to Beth Simmons and Jasmine Camargo who are this week's Reading Counts winners. They received some gifts and Beth, who was our monthly winner, received the book of her choice. Steelman, you too can be a winner. Just fill out a raffle drawing card from each time you pass a reading counts test with a score of 70% or better. Attention art lovers! Mega Drawing will be taught by Ms. Wilmson on Monday, November 17th after school in the library at 3.20 p.m. Please sign up beforehand so that you can receive a drawing notebook and manga pens. Stop in the library for more details and to sign up. ABC Friday Flyover Online Voting begins this Thursday. That's tomorrow at 7 a.m. Go online between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. to help determine the favorite Friday Flyover School. Last year, Joliet West School was the Flyover favorite. Vote for Joliet Central this year to continue the tradition. 
how to vote, visit www.abc7chicago.com. Again, www.abc7chicago.com, and there will be a link to the ABC Splash page. It will then direct you to a link which says click here to vote, and it will show the list of schools in no particular order. You can vote online and through your mobile device. The winning school will be notified after voting closes on Thursday night. ABC 7 uh, will film live at 5.30 a.m. Friday morning at the winning school. Again, JTHS will communicate via social media if we are the winning school and will invite students to show school spirit during the live filming. Stay tuned for more details and make sure you cast your vote. Twitter, Friday Flyover Online. Voting begins Thursday at 7 a.m. www.abc7chicago.com. Do you know how to play chess? Would you like to compete in the SWSC? Do you want to be a part of a fun, exciting, and intellectual team environment? Well, get ready for some great news. The Junior Varsity Chess Team is looking to fill two spots for this session. If you would like to see if you have what it takes, then come and check out the chess team in Mr. Coatney's room 365. The, the informational meetings will be held after school on Thursday, November 6th, Friday, November 7th, and Monday, November 11th. Again, that's in Mr. Coatney's room, room 365. Attention male swimmers or boy inter boys interested in swimming. There will be an informational meeting about this season today at 3.30 in the Skybox across from the Athletic Director's Office. Again, that's today at 3.30 in the Skybox across from the Athletic Director's Office. Any questions can be answered at this meeting. See you there. On Saturday, November 11th, Joliet Central Scholastic Bowl JV team participated in the Kindland High School JV Tournament. Caesar Escucha answered a remarkable 39 toss-up question and Angel Franco with a 22 toss-up in the tournament play. Caesar and Angel were named team MVPs for the tournament. Rodolfo Perez, Jesse Morasco, Andy Gable, Zion Smith, George Martinez, Diego Martinez, and Mariah Freycomb also scored points for the Steel Scholars. Congrats Steel Scholars on your efforts this week. Joliet Central students, are you struggling with any of these? Stress, anger, problems at home, getting bullied, self-esteem, relationships, handling a recent death? Well, maybe talking to someone can help. Go to JT Learn under announcements, click the Students Assistance Program, and look at the support groups offered at Joliet Central. If you check a group, a counselor may meet with you to explain the sign-up procedures. Choosing a group indicates your interest and you can still change your mind later. So check it out. We are here to help and we want to support you. If you have any questions, see Mr. Peterson located in the guidance office. Congratulations to the varsity and junior varsity chess team as they defeated Thornton 68-0, opening up their 2014-2015 season with the win. Those who played a major part in the varsity win were Nate Ellison, Gavin Bennett, Aaron Davila, Brian Galvin, Julian Silas, Diamond Triva, Cesar Escutia, and Austin Bernhardt. The junior varsity players responsible for the win were Jesus Mascote, Joshua Morales, Mazel Rodriguez, Dana York, and Jasmine Camargo. The Joliet Central Boys Basketball Tryouts will be on Monday, November 10th. You must have a physical on file or you cannot try out. Stop by room 282 and sign up before November 10th to get your tryout number. Remember, you must register online at, that, at athletics2000.com. Coach Coughlin's Boot Camp Conditioning is every day this week in the wrestling room starting at 3.30 p.m. A free shirt for all who attend the whole week. Must have a current physical on file to participate. It won't be easy, but it will be worth it. 